And the gathering place in St. John's is getting a big boost. A $2 million donation will help convert the former Sisters of Mercy convent on Military Road. It will become a new emergency shelter along with transitional and affordable housing. It'll take up to two years and more money to transform the convent, but the work kicked off today. Nothing can be more challenging or more difficult for our staff than to have someone knocking at our door at night and we can't let them in. Someone looking for a safe place, uh, a warm space out of the elements. So this new facility will go a long way to help to fix that and provide new opportunities for people here in this area. This will be the main shelter room right here with 20 beds. Uh, there will be five, I think, uh, six out there. There will be seven more back here, and there will be a larger number again out and back. Uh, the second floor right above us, it will become a floor again. People over on this side, it's just a few, a few boards. There's no floor there right now, but the second floor will become our transitional space. It will have a combination of a congregate-style living as we have in our shelter, but also some semi-private rooms. And our uh, third, or third and uh, fourth floor, uh, will become supportive housing. They'll essentially become people's new homes where they can live independently but yet have the supports around them to live their lives in, in an enriched way and supported way in the best way possible yet being affordable and independent. Why the guests felt that as good as we were at the gathering place providing services every single day and as good as our shelter is, there were times when they could not get into the shelter because it was filled. They also told us that coming back to the shelter night after night after night because they had nowhere else to sleep wasn't good enough, that they needed support to find housing for them more permanently and housing where they could get some support with their own health challenges so that they'd be comfortable remaining in that housing. So we knew from that that we needed a better shelter, a bigger shelter, we needed to have supportive housing, and we needed to have transitional housing. All of that required a lot of space.